now it's your turn. What is going on, boys? Welcome back. Big change for me, yeah? You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, that is naughty. But for the remaining of the YouTube video, we'll carry on with the backwards hat, yeah? Because I'm feeling it. Anyway, okay, guys, so I am have I have made a couple looks maxing videos already, yeah? Um, so check them out. In those videos, I go into more detail about how you can upgrade your looks, how you can max your looks, looks maxing. Now, this is a looks maxing video, but not a hugely detailed one. This is more of an inspirational video, yeah? You can see how looks maxing has changed your favorite fitness industry influencers, yeah? For example, down here, we've got Alex Eubank. Everybody knows that boy. Chespra, Sayed Segovic, legend in the game. And everybody knows Joe Fazer, yeah? If you don't know, get to know, because that is a dangerous man. Anyway, so... Take this as inspiration. Look at these fine young gents, yeah, in the non-homophobic way, unless you want to, and look at them. Look how gorgeous they all are, yeah? Not just the physique, but the face, yeah? You are shortly going to see that they all didn't look like this, yeah? They didn't start here. So let's get into it. Starting off, yeah, with the man with a lot of controversy right now. Dylan McKnight, I don't even think it's controversy. People hate him right now. I don't get why. Like, half the people you like in the fitness industry are not natural, claiming they're natural. We all know it's fine. Get over it. Because they need to protect their sponsorships and brand deals. That's how they make a living. Let Just, you know what I mean? We all know. Just get over it. This man decided he'd be honest, yeah? Not apologise, but be honest and come out and say, look... I did steroids once for like a month out of like 10 years of training and everyone hates him. I don't get it. I'm not trying to get cancer myself, but we're not here for that. We're here for this. Look at the left hand side of this, of this screen, I think for you. Look, before and after. This is quite a recent change. This is what low unstable mental health looks like. It's where it takes you. It's not a nice place to be. Um, we've all been there, yeah? And can you all agree that when we have been there, we've not necessarily looked our best? It's facts. And have you ever noticed that when you feel good mentally, you always look good, yeah? They go hand in hand. So if you're going to take a tip from Dylan McKnight, it's feel good. When you feel good, you look good, yeah? Don't just, if you're feeling like shit and you're spending so hard trying to get your face to look perfect, it's not going to happen. Fix your happiness first because honestly, it will radiate through your face, yeah? It will penetrate like the sun through your skin. That's what's going to happen. Anyway, obviously this guy did have a massive glow up. That was a... Look, this is a buzz cut, yeah? That is not a buzz cut. That is a botch job, if, if you're going to ask me. Look, obviously getting a little bit leaner. Look at his jaw. Change. Crazy. Um, eyebrows got a bit cleaned up. Skin smoothed out. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. But that is Dylan McKnight. Number two, my absolute favourite. The king of aesthetics. Don't argue with me, yeah? Jeff Side is the prince. But here is the king of aesthetics, yeah? His brother was the king. We all know that. Ziz. Ziz was his brother. This is Sayed Segovic. Um, rest in peace, of course. He was the true king of aesthetics. But the, but the throne has been passed down to Sayed Segovic, yeah? This guy is an absolute legend. Um, I'm sure he's a proper genuine geezer as well. Messaged him like once on Instagram. He replied. He was, he was a really nice, really nice guy. Anyway, hopefully I'll meet him in the future. But this guy is the biggest change in my opinion. Look at that. Look at the left-hand side. Look at the, these photos of before, yeah? I can't even believe that this is the same geezer. Not only has the physique changed, it's obvious the physique has changed, yeah, guys? We're not looking at that. Although it helps tremendously, okay? The face. Look at his face. He is a gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful, unbelievably looking good 
man. Can't even get my words out properly. That's how good looking he is. All right. This is a this is a no homo vid, yeah. I'm just appreciating aesthetics when I see it, and that is an aesthetic face. Is it to any shock that the man has his own skincare company and his own um, health health hair company? Yeah, he looks after his hair and he looks after his skin so much that he's made brands out of it. It's totally on brand. It makes a lot of sense. If you are currently looking like the geezer on the left hand side, yeah terrible haircuts there's no glow there's no nothing yeah get it in your head guys that these four images the people on the left and the people on the right are the same person can you believe that look how different they look or is it just me i don't know but that should inspire you to say Come on, man. Like, look, if you're just born with certain looks, you're born with certain looks. You can't change really how you look that much. Yes, you can. Look at that. Unbelievably gorgeous man. King of aesthetics. Respect to say it to Gavich and his brother, rest in peace. Moving on. Now, everyone's favorite, yeah? For good reason. Alex Eubank. What a legend in the fucking fitness industry. Sorry, it's Ramadan. I'm not supposed to be swearing right now. Anyway, yeah, the guy... Um, in my opinion, has always been quite good looking. You can s- kind of see, like, obviously when he looks quite... You can't see where I'm pointing, but on the right-hand side where he looks younger, you can see he's going to have... He's going to be a handsome boy eventually, yeah? Obviously did turn out to be one. And then on the 28, 2018 photo, you can see here that all he needs to do is lose the glasses because they don't really fit his face properly, lose a bit of the body weight, get a haircut... And he's pretty much there. And that's exactly what he did. So um, I'm not going to stay on this guy too long because I think he always had like quite a good looking face. He just needed to clean up a couple of things. But it's true. It could be one of you guys. It could be you guys. Like you might not know what masterpiece is under there. Look at him. He's a fucking 10 out of 10. Solid boy. Yeah. Again, before the physique, the face. Amazing. The physique helps. We're going to keep saying that throughout the video. But we're moving on from Alex because he was quite... That was quite a quick transformation, I think. Now, we've gone through my favourite transformation. We've gone through the quickest, yeah? But this is by far the best transformation. Like, face, physique, skin, hair, everything. This guy has completely... This guy is the king of looks maxing. I didn't add more than two photos because you don't need it. Joe Fazer, mate, props to you, brother, because honestly, I just, the difference between the photo on the left and the photo on the right is just, it's unbelievable. And it actually it inspires me. Like, I am motivated by that. The physique has obviously changed a lot, which is which is amazing, but it's not, it's not the only thing that's made him change this dramatically, okay? If you put his physique on his old body, he'd still look that way, roughly. So what I'm trying to say is, if you need me to break it down for you and why he looks so different, let me explain, okay? First of all, he's gotten bigger, but he's gotten leaner, okay? Leaner. It's brought out his face, Brought out his cheeks. You can see it on his face, not just his jawline, but on his face. It's chiseled him. It's amazing. Okay, so he's got Lena. He's also got a haircut that suits him. It's relatively similar, but it's also completely different. Like you just make a few small changes to your trim and you can really do wonders for your face okay it needs to fit your face and obviously he's got a skin fade we know we love skin fades on this channel yeah whether you've got a buzz cut whether you've got long hair whether you've got slick back hair a skin fade is always the answer or a taper he's got a skin fade here and he's short on the front it's brought out his face even more he's also got a got a wonderful tan yeah i don't know if it's fake or real but it doesn't matter okay he lives in England, so it's probably fake tan, but who cares? That is probably the biggest change and the easiest change. Just buy some, just go to a tanning salon, buy some fake tan 
or go on a sunbed, yeah? Sunbeds aren't very necessarily good for your, for you, for your skin, but they are really good for your brain. Um, so you can obviously weigh up if you want to do that or not. Um, but like, I just, the tan has just changed him completely. I don't mind spending time on this one because this is, this is, like I said, the best transformation I've ever seen, ever. Like, gone from, a t- like, he is, I don't know, I don't want to judge him on numbers, but, like, I'd say, like, a 6 out of 10 there. And now he is, like, a 10 out of 10. And he's tall, yeah? I know this video is looking a bit zesty on my end, but, like, there's a reason, like, looking good is going to attract girls. So that's not very zesty, is it? So shut your mouth. Anyway, moving on. Last but not least is me, yeah? Billy Sam J. My real name is Bilal, if you wanted to know. B-I-L-A-L. I love my name, but I've also always been called Billy my whole life since I was a kid in school forever, basically. So, Billy, that is also me. But legally, it's Bilal. Anyway, look how much I've changed, guys. In my opinion... It's a lot, and I think I'm only going to change even more for the better. Um, like the trim on the left-hand side of these photos. Obviously, the physique has changed a lot. We know the physique helps a lot, okay? But it's about, like, the physique takes time. This is talking about changing as quick as you possibly can because no, you just want to get it done, yeah? The jaw's not even there, okay? That is because of the gym. My neck was so skinny that it made my j- jaw look small, um, as you, as you get bigger and you get trapped and you get a neck, you just start, you get leaner, you just start start building this jaw. It's amazing. Um, anyway, but it was non-existent in the left-hand side of these photos. The haircut. Do you know how long I rocked that for? My hair's too thick to be doing what I did there. I don't know what I was doing. It looked, I don't even know what that is. Um, wide headphones, a bit of a dead thing. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not going to mock myself too much. Like I was really doing the best I could. Um, so I, I, I respect him a lot. I respect that younger me because that younger me was in the gym training, doing what he needed to do, trying to work on himself, was working on himself to become the man I am today. And I'm going to do that for my future self. And I hope you will do the same thing. Um, but here I am on the right. These photos are both very, very recent just before I cut my hair. And it's like night and day, in my opinion, because it's me. But I hope you see it too. Like, that is night and day. Um, so, yeah. And good lighting, <laughs> which we currently have. So, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you learned anything from this photo, from this one, stick at it, yeah? Just keep going. This one, tan. Tan the fuck up. This one, um Small changes make a big difference. Took the glasses off, got contact lenses, slimmed out a bit, better haircut, boom. This guy, dr- dramatic change. If you want to take anything away from this one, it's you can change dramatically, yeah? Unbelievable. And yeah, we'll skip this one for now because too much controversy. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know the tips in this one were a bit scattered all over the place, but that wasn't the point. It was all, it was more for the for the inspiration for familiar faces that you guys probably watch and are entertained by, like myself. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers, and I know we can get there with your help. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to keep providing this content, and I'm going to keep providing strength positivity love yeah so hit subscribe hit the like button stay strong stay disciplined and peace